Okay, so I got the studs out. What I did is I just put a nut on here and a washer. And I just took a wrench and backed that off. Um, the problem I was having is these studs wouldn't reach through my full flow cover here. Um, and I couldn't put a nut on it. So they were just sticking through the cover. Just a few threads were. So I couldn't get a nut on there. So I had to take everything back apart. Um, take the studs out. I put some penetrating oil on there. Uh, put the bolt in. Cleaned out the threads. So I went down and went to the hardware store. These are stainless socket head, socket cap screws or scrap bolts, excuse me. Um, and I went and I got some wavy washers. My hardware store didn't have the wavy washers. I stole these from uh, a BMW I worked on. Some some hardware stores might have them, might need to go to a specialty bolt store. Um, and then the original Volkswagen nuts have a nylock washer on them. And so what I did is uh, I just took a piece of milk jug and I drilled holes the right size for the bolt. Here's my little stepper bit. And so what I did is I just drilled the holes for first and then I traced my wavy washer right here. So here's a wavy washer. You can see it's wavy and it's made out of spring steel. So when it compresses, it's kind of like a lock washer, but I like them better. They, they look a lot nicer when they're done and then they do the same job. So I traced that around the milk jug and then I cut out the tracing and I made four of these. So we have one for each bolt all the way around. Um, and so what we're gonna do going forward is we're gonna just take this, I'm gonna clean this. So we got glue all over it or sealant. And you'll just make sure you look at your your cam right there, get an idea of where it is. You'll tap this in gently with a mallet. I've already got the gasket on there. I put some um, gasket sealer on the block, both sides of the gasket there. And then I'll clean this up and we'll put a little bit around the edges here. And then I'll take a mallet and I'll tap that in gently. And then I'll look inside there and I'll line this slot right here up with the slot on the cam. Um, one thing that's kind of interesting is if you look at this mark right here, it corresponds with how this is. It's off just a tiny bit. So when we're like that, that slot's straight. Might make it a little easier when you're in there. Um, the other thing is if you look at the other gear, here's the other gear, you have this mark too. Make sure that mark is facing forward as well. I don't think the two marks need to touch, but just make sure they're on the face. That way you don't put it in this way. It'll go in this way with the mark facing you. So we'll tap the oil pump in with mallet gently, nice and even. We'll just kind of tap it in the center there. Once that's in, we'll grab our cover here. We'll put a little sealant on this side and then we'll grab our gasket, put some sealant on both sides and then bolt down our cover with our stainless bolt with the homemade milk jug nylon washer and a wavy washer and we'll bolt that all together and it should hold just fine uh, if you guys have any questions um, just leave them in the comments I'll be happy to answer them thanks bye